everyone. Um, it's Sunday and um, I thought I would just come on uh, real quickly um, because um, over this past weekend I did a little bit of um, Big Lots and TJ Maxx uh, Target kind of visit and I don't have everything here but what I have is um, some of the items that I like to pick up when I find them because I use them for um, uh, organizing in different areas of my house and um, I try to organize almost everything including my cabinets cupboards in the bathrooms bedrooms in the closets in the kitchen um, utility room wherever I can and even in the refrigerator and um, I hope to be putting together a couple of um, organizing videos that I've done to organize my cabinets in the kitchen and I've shown them a just you know a picture here and there but I really want to do just a video on that and how I organized my refrigerator um, and that's a whole nother video the story about my refrigerator because in the midst of being sick my refrigerator of course had to go on the blinky blink and um, you know that's never fun when you're not feeling good and you have to go out and get a refrigerator but I thought what I would do is share with you a little bit about how I'm going to spruce up um, and just kind of add a little bit of spring effects to my house. Now, um, for some reason since my move, I have not been able to find um, my Easter type spring decos and I didn't have like the many, many buckets that I have for like fall and um, winter Christmas but nonetheless during our moves I just have in my head a couple of items that I put out during spring and during Easter and that whole entire particular bin happens to be missing so I do have one or two other places that I need to kind of look at because I may have combined it with some other items um, to see if I have them but I just know I wouldn't have um, given them away or thrown them out because they're something that I use all the time every year and I'm like okay I can't find them so I needed to add a, just a couple of little things that I wanted to just kind of springify and um, I'll do a video on that separately with a couple of just little items that I've purchased along the way that I found so for example um, this little um gosh what are these little lavender kind of shoots um you know they're not real but in this cute little it's like a gray and white white wash down little flower it's really nice to add to my long table that i have in the hallway it'll add that little bit of color and it's one of those little items that you know it's inexpensive and you can add it anywhere and it just adds that pretty um, spring you know uh, it's this one looks like so real it's almost like you can smell it so I picked that up at TJ Maxx um, which um, I thought was really cute and I did pick up a couple of um, other items at TJ Maxx and I have them out um, in my living room and hallway and I will show a video of that um, when I'm completely all finished but just a couple of other little items like um, just to add that little bit of color um, just for spring and then of course I do change out my pillows now I really got into um, last Christmas buying a couple of new pillow covers and then just using the pillows that I have and then covering them that's really an economical way to go and um, but I did have a couple of us uh, pillows that add a little bit of the spring colors that I kind of have throughout my house it's kind of like that little aqua and a little bit of some of the um, earth tones in a lighter color so I just use those pillows take them out during the fall and winter and bring them back for spring and then I found this cute little vase um, I think I got this at Big Lots um, and it does say basil on it and it's kind of got this little faux leather um, 
you know, name right here or a tag. But if I don't want it to show, you know, I can just turn it around and make it just a plain white vase. I just like the white vases because I think it does a lot for color. And then I picked this little tin up and I don't necessarily just care for the tin, but I got this at TJ Maxx and it was just like, I think $4. So I thought that was pretty good because again, just adding that to a white vase, I think just adds that little bit of color. And this I'll have sitting on my kitchen counter. And I think it's full and it's pretty. And if I want to pick up a real basil plant, I will. But my um, plants don't do so well in the house. And you know, years ago when I lived in Illinois um, for years, I had a very large um, herb garden and I loved it. And it just finally got to the point where it was so self-serving and it would just rebloom every year. And there were certain items that I would have to replant like fresh cilantro, fresh basil, because that necessarily would get killed off and wouldn't come back. But I haven't tried any herbs since I've lived here in the South and I just pretty much stick to buying them. But like I said, if I want a real fresh basil because it smells good and it's something that I love to use all the time, then I have this little pot and I just, I like this little name tag on it. But if I don't want to see it, I can just turn it around. So I picked that up and then along the lines, I don't want that to drop, along the lines of just adding a little bit of color. Now my kitchen is um, done in all white cabinets and I have a darker floor, wood floor, and then the countertops, um, it's a dark um, a mix between kind of grays and blacks and um, so I and the walls are just a very light color and I just like to add splashes of color around now I have um, an appliance uh, most of my appliances are stainless steel or with the black um, covering on them um, I have an electric pot that's kind of that aqua color and so I will try to pick up that color because I kind of have a little bit of it in the living room and then I have it on my rug um, throw rugs in the kitchen and so that's kind of what I like to accent with because then I think when you add little splashes of color and greenery like this. I just think it um, just balances it out. So I don't go with, you know, like, okay, all my appliances um, all have to be red or they all have to be um, green or pink or, you know, I have an assortment of good cooking pans and they, I have a La Cruzette that happens to be blue and I love it. Um, and then I've sometimes picked up individual pans that I find at Marshalls or, or Home Goods that the price is great on it and it just might be a teal or an aqua color or whatever. It doesn't matter to me as long as it's what I need and it serves its purpose. Um, but I do like my bigger appliances to all match, like my dishwasher, stove, refrigerator, that kind of thing. And then I like to add color um, just by adding a few different um, items. So uh, one of the items that I picked up at Big Lots were these round placemats. Now I don't use these placemats for us to eat on, but I just use them to put on the I have an open island countertop with two bar stools so I just put this in front of it and it just kind of makes it always look like it's neat and organized and then I bought these two matching uh, trivets in the same color for um, next to my stove countertop where I have an electric skillet and then a candle and then that way it just kind of you sort of see that color all around. You're getting a little bit from the throw rugs on the floor, a little bit from the counters, and it just happens to be a nice blend that adds that little bit of spring. Um, and uh, then uh, next thing I purchased, and I try to get these types of things when I see them 
and try to kind of go along a theme with wherever I'm using them. But I can also change them out. If I have a collection of these um, particular baskets and I've like maybe have six of these, then maybe there's an area that I can just um, organize with and utilize them in one particular area. Right now I'm using these in my utility room and I have a big long shelf up above and um, so I'm going to add these to that particular room. And then I have oops, these two that I use in my um, closet filming makeup room here and in the bathroom under the shelves. I love these baskets. Now, these are not dollar store baskets. These are very sturdy. These are great in the pantry, great in your cabinets. They're sturdy, they're not flimsy, it, they're easy to pull out. And um, I could get a set of these, these large ones. Um, they're not exactly cheap um, at like TJ Maxx for um, $9.99. And then a set of three of the smaller ones for the same price. Now they don't always have maybe the assortment of colors. Like for the longest time, my TJ Maxx had the gray and the cream color. Well, I knew I had the uh, dual gray here and that's really what I was waiting for. So I was just there a few days ago they didn't have any in this size in that color and I went back today to pick something up um, and they had it so that's what I do I just buy them in small increments and I'm gonna move my camera here and just kind of show you <laughs> up above where I have these storage bins now of course I didn't go out and just buy these storage bins all at one time and I have more on the other side. But when I find them at a good price, and they're the, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. When I find them, and they're at the right price, and they're the type of bins that I'm looking for, and the right size, and they're that sturdy canvas, then I will purchase one or two of them until I accumulate them and just utilize them for storage and I think they're uh, convenient um, you can't see through them so I put little danging tags on it and I just flip the tag and it tells me what's in them so I like using those types of bins for storage especially in closets because I think they're really great for that sorry I didn't get enough coffee today ran out this morning to get myself to church and I usually take it to go because I'm about 25 minutes from um, a mobile Alabama and uh, yeah I forgot my to-go cup so I'm just having an afternoon cup of coffee I'm sure I'll be tonight when I can't sleep so I did that and then I'm going to insert a picture here Oops, it tore. Uh, this is kind of a nylon um, uh, sweater holder, and um, so I believe I need to replace it with canvas for my jeans because, of course, my jeans are heavier. And uh, I just noticed that this side tore, this side did not, it's still intact, but I've got the weight um, of a box under here, so hopefully it'll last until I can uh, replace it with a canvas one. And uh, this is how I organized my jeans. I decided to stack them instead of hanging them, and I absolutely love the idea, and I just used a sweater stacker that I found somewhere, Dollar Tree, Big Lot, somewhere years ago that I've used and I just had put it away, I wasn't using it and I found it, I got it out again and thought I'm going to use this for my jeans. Well, guess what? <laughs> One side rip because it's not that heavy canvas. So I will go to Walmart or Target and I will repurchase a hanging vertical um, you know, sweater hanger and I will 
insert my jeans there. I love them folded. Um, I get more room in my closet for my dress pants to fold and just, you know, fold my jeans and stick them in that vertical bin and it's great. And you can also do the same thing. One of Marie Condrew's, um, Condrew, is it? I always say that wrong. You know who I'm talking about, the little organizer lady. Um, she'll fold jeans up into the smallest rectangle that you can get and just stack them in a bin. It's great. As long as you know what you're looking for and you can get them out without disrupting the whole bin, then use a bin to stack them. But it's so much better than the wideness that you get from hanging all your jeans and, you know, just really uh, hanging your dress pants, you know, you just pick up more room in your closet. So anyways, that's a whole nother story um, about, you know, just organizing. And I just recently redid that organization in my a closet and uh, did, uh, well, I'll just talk about it now. I did a donation to Goodwill and, you know, just sent off some to um, others that, you know, just stuff that I'm no longer needing because of the climate that I live in. Some of my clothes were too heavy. Um, so that was the time to do it. And I had just done a um, clean up my closet, um, I think, really close to right after the first of the year but I wasn't ready to take out my spring clothes um, because I store my spring clothes away in bins so now that I was ready to do my spring clothes then I could get rid of the clothes for winter that I knew I wasn't using anymore and that took care of that. Another item I picked up over the weekend for my porch because it's time for me to get out there I take everything out of it I bring the hose in I wash everything down because I have a covered um, patio and I you know just spruce everything up I have a couple of um, little uh, wood tables out there that I need to repaint because I think I'm just gonna paint them white because my other rocker and my glider and my um, little uh, porch table and stuff that they're all done in black um, iron so I thought oh maybe I'll just just um, paint my little um, kind of my barn red little table I have out there and I think I'll just do it um, white and um, so I wanted to add some color out there big pots whoops kind of dropped a cord there had these great pillows on sale really pretty um, aqua and white just I wanted a couple of new ones for my glider um, and th this is that um, a Solaris it's got the enhanced UV resistance durable indoor and outdoor fabric and they happen to have buy one and get the second one for 50% off which I thought was a really good deal so I snatched these up um, just this past weekend which I thought was a good deal. I got rid of quite a few of my artificial kind of pots that I had um, before we moved and they just had gotten sun faded and needed to be pitched. So for my little table out in my covered um, porch area, I picked this up. I just thought it was just, it's a little galvanized tin and it's kind of got the little stone inside that all glued down and again, yes, I'm kind of partial to lavender. I love the way it smells and I just love the way it makes me think when I see it um, peaceful um, because I always put lavender um, essential oil on at night when I'm going to bed in my room and I just like the color and everything. so. I bought this for that little table, and I just thought, you know, just with the color combination of different things, and I usually always have a, a geranium or two that are real that I'll put out there on the porch, but um, I just thought this was adorable, and I got this at TJ Maxx over the weekend, so um, I thought that was a good deal. So I didn't buy a lot, and I don't change things out a lot but I do like to take some of my summer throws that I have just for outside and I wash them and spruce them up and uh, I have one out there that's been like kind of a cream and navy blue color um, and it's really 
mm, it's just seen better days so I'm uh, gonna be um, just exchanging one that I had for in the house it's just kind of a light cream color because sometimes at night it still gets you know just a little bit cool and it's kind of nice to wrap up in but that won't last too long I'll live in where I live but the last two weeks it's been beautiful it's been perfect because there's been no humidity um, and I just wanted to so bad open my windows and air the house out and I have for you know an hour or so and I want to do it longer because it feels good but I just can't handle the allergens right now that's the downfall but and then the last thing I have to share and show right now is um, a couple of items that I use all the time in my drawers and I love these and uh, these you can get at uh, I've seen them at Target I've seen them at Walmart and I like the ones that have this little rubber gripper I use these in my drawers in my utensil um, drawers I don't really like to have a drawer that everything is just thrown in there I just like to group like things together it's just easier to find things I have several of these in different sizes and you know they're usually a couple of bucks and when I see one that I know okay I can use that I was reorganizing a couple of my drawers the other day and uh, I was just trying to get bigger utensils all in one area and smaller and so I knew I needed a couple more of these and this just happened to be the only size that they had available and so if I see it I get it because I know I'm going to use it and then uh, these um, fridge and freezer bins oh love love these now I know if you have that same theory my husband says you're just taking up more room by using it, but not really um, these are great because for example my elderly mom lives with me and she's just a, a pretty tiny little thing but don't misconstrue that for her not being mighty because she is but anyways she can't really see or have have a good reach up into the refrigerator and um, these are great because if I can put them at a level where she can see she can easily pull the bin and she can just get I try to group things that I know she likes like her special yogurts or you know her um, jams that she likes and stuff and these are just so nifty because breakfast time for her if she wants she can just take the bin out use what she wants put it back and then slide it back in that same place so I absolutely love these and they're great in the freezer I have one um, in one of my sliding drawers um, that I just have her um, breakfast sausage biscuits that she likes sometimes in the morning and that way her um, blueberry muffins or her um, what do you call them bagels they're stacked up and I have them individually wrapped for her and then she can decide what she wants and then she knows everything's in there otherwise she just it's too overwhelming for her to just pull a drawer out and just go oh gosh where is it so I like these these are really nice and they're durable and they last great in your refrigerator and another one this is why i went back to tj maxx this was 6.99 and this little thing works great and the way i have it is in my deli drawer and, um, i when i do my video on um, my refrigerator organization um, i don't know if you're interested in it but i love watching those kinds of um, videos but i'll show you how i do mine and the story behind getting my refrigerator um, I have a really nice deli slide out drawer I think it's called a party drawer or something like that or slide and serve I don't know something like that but I have I purchased one of these um, it was kind of new um, and I saw it at TJ Maxx and I thought you know I think I can use this in my refrigerator in that deli drawer because I wasn't quite sure but I thought I think it'll fit and of course it did so I put my cherry tomatoes and cheese sticks in these and then I have always have cheese sticks because granddaughter me puppy gets half a cheese stick sometimes you know but 
it's nice because it has these dividers and if you don't want to use the dividers then you just take it out and you got the whole bin but um, it fits in there perfect and it's just a great way to keep things organized because you know sometimes when you have stuff and it falls behind other um, items you, then it just goes bad because you just don't know it's there and this way it's a great way and it's a fast efficient way open your drawer look at what you have inside okay your tomatoes are getting low if that's what you keep in here then you know you can replace it your cheese sticks are still plenty full you don't need them i mean it's just containers i think are the greatest thing since butter yeah and uh i think anything that you can do to help organize and keep things organized it it really defines for you efficiency and when you're efficient and things work sufficiently for you then you have more time on yourself for whatever sipping coffee you know just doing a little shopping uh, a little extra soak in the tub whatever reading whatever but I love bins and you know, I've gone the route of dollar store bins and trying to get organized with flimsy canvas and depending on what it's for, um, those things can work for you. You know, like kids stuff sometimes, like little items, if you have little shelving areas, that's great for that. But things that are heavy and bulky and, um, you know, you need to be able to have that sturdy structure, then it's worth spending the extra few bucks for accumulate them and um, get yourself organized take some time but it's really worth it when it's done so hope you enjoyed this tell me some of your organizing tips i would love to hear them until next time be kind be humble age gracefully bye